Our favorite scientist at the Imagination Station, Carl, has one of his favorite ingredients, liquid nitrogen. Liquid I'm nitrogen. guessing we're going to make something explode, blow up, I we're, don't know, whatever, gonna, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. <laughs> we're working with liquid nitrogen, which is 320 degrees below zero, but we're not going to worry about its temperature so much, no, as much as no the worries. fact that it is boiling, which means it's changing from a liquid to a gas. You can see in that test tube, we're getting all sorts of bubbling action happening in there. And I can prove to you that the liquid nitrogen is boiling, changing into a gas by putting a balloon on top. So I stick a balloon on top here, we should see it start to inflate. Now, we don't have time for this thing to completely inflate, so I'm just gonna dump everything in all at once. Okay. Now we have way more gas inside this the balloon than it can actually hold. You might wanna plug your ear because it's gonna explode <laughs> in a second. <laughs> Okay. You warned me too late. <laughs> I know. So, I mean, the idea here is that it's expanding and taking up more space, about 700 times more space. Now, we could do it with a balloon. That's kind of fun. I think it's a little <laughs> more interesting to do it with a two-liter bottle. A two-liter bottle is going to explode. Well, we're going to see if we can get it to explode. Uh -huh. Now, oh, no. <laughs> a two-liter bottle is a little bit more rigid. Do want to warn you: don't try this at home with any other device. It's very dangerous. Um, but we have done it here many times. We know how to do this Not safely. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home with anything. I doubt you have liquid nitrogen at home. But if you have any other things, don't try this. It can be very dangerous. We're basically creating a live grenade of sorts here. So now what I've got is okay. nitrogen inside here. Okay. And when I cap this, it's going to start to expand. Okay. We're going to throw it in this container of warm water. That'll help it expand even quicker. Before it explodes, you, Kelly, are going to take this container of play balls and gently pour it into the other container. Okay. What we're hoping for here is that when this container explodes, it's going to shoot all those balls up to the ceiling and we're going to have a, like a shower of play balls. All right. Okay? Are you ready? My kind of rainfall, right? Now, I'm going to suggest you put your safety glasses on just I in case. I got them on. Oh, you do? Cool. <laughs> I'm good to you go. Have an extra pair there. Shoot. All right. Go ahead and pick up that container. Okay. And I want you to get ready. I'm going to go ahead and cap this. And you're gonna throw, pour those in really nice and gentle. Keep pouring faster, faster, faster. Get them in there, dump them in. Dump them in, dump them in. Step away from the container. <laughs> in about five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one, zero. <laughs> I'm pulling you away from Woo! the container there. That was there. fantastic. In fact, check this out. The, um, the bottle is pretty much shredded here. Phew. Okay. Um, these bottles can take about 300 PSI, and so that definitely that nitrogen expanding 700 times in volume was enough to explode the bottle, <laughs> launch all those balls up into the air. Um, we call it the ball plosion. It's kind of a fun, kind of a fun thing. That was fantastic. Right. Thanks, Carl. Sure. Wow. Woo. <laughs>